It has been decided that I am going to write some applications for the iPhone and Android platforms for our company. Management has decided that it's taking too long for you to get mobile apps out to solve our business problems. Dude, totally. Mobile is where it's at, but it just takes so long to build apps for these devices. You have to start with Objective-C on the Mac for the iPhone. Once you get your application running perfectly there, then you can start building your app on Android with Java and Dalvik. And in a few months, you will have some applications that you can start showing users. I can definitely use your help. Wait, I'm a .NET developer. I'm planning on using Mono Touch and Mono for Android. You cannot do that. Steve Jobs doesn't like anything that isn't Objective-C. WinForms are bad. Your users will hate you. The Mono products use the native APIs on the platforms. Mono Touch is a .NET layer that allows your code to call the native Coco Touch layers. Mono for Android is similar on Android. WinForms is nowhere to be seen. Mono isn't the native language of the iPhone or Android. It won't work. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Just because Caligula did something doesn't mean that we should too. Do you follow Leemings off a cliff as well? .NET on the iPhone won't work because you can't share libraries. Mono Touch and Mono for Android allow you to bundle your application along with Mono Framework into a single redistributable. The iPhone doesn't allow you to do just-in-time compilation, so it won't work. Mono Touch has a head-of-time compilation that allows an application written in C Sharp to run on the iPhone. But your apps will be huge, no one will use them. Mono has a linker that pulls out the unneeded parts, so apps aren't that large, plus user research says that users aren't worried about app size. Apple doesn't allow this. There was confusion in the SDK licensing a while back, however, Apple never removed any apps from the App Store because they were written in Mono Touch. You don't have an IDE that runs with a Mac, so you are going to use Notepad and will have to copy files. It will be a developer mess. There is Mono Develop for the Mac. It allows me to develop in Mono Touch and I can use Interface Builder. No one would ever use this. Apple would never allow this. There are thousands of apps written with Mono Touch in the App Store. Apple features iCircuit and its store is on the iPad. This was written in Mono Touch. Plus, did you know that Mono Touch has garbage collection and you don't have to worry about pointers? Have you seen that big newspaper app that Apple keeps talking about and features in its commercials? I find it to be really buggy and crashes all the time. Mono Touch would help them out. The Android guys will never accept this. They are all about free and open. Free and open is great. It's a great place to learn, but we are running a business. The cost of a product is insignificant next to the cost of hiring developers and getting them up to speed in our environment. Have you tried to hire a contract with an Objective-C developer? You can't find them. What about Java developers that program on Android? Developers don't typically understand the complexities of mobile anyway. They don't exist and we need to move along and solve problems the business is having. Our sales and marketing leaders already want a solution. We haven't started, and we are a .NET shop anyway. The tech rights guy may generate page views but he doesn't run this company. Until he does, the CIO, CFO, marketing, and everyone is on board with what I am proposing. But, but, but. Plus, another great feature is that if I architect my application properly, I can share code amongst my platforms. So, when I fix a bug or add a feature in the iPhone, I can get that on Android as well. But it's not right. .NET is from Microsoft, and they are evil. I left the .NET world a couple of years ago to pursue mobile. Mono isn't from Microsoft. It's from Novell. Microsoft has already stated that they have no problems with Mono Touch and Mono for Android. Have you ever tried to talk to someone one from a big technology company that wasn't trying to sell you on their vision? Of course they want to hook you into their products so that you can get off of them. Have you read what Apple wants from companies for subscriptions? Remember, 
This isn't about ideology, but about solving business problems today. Nothing stops us from using your applications and continuing to use them in the future. We need to jumpstart solving problems and this will definitely help us. Mono Touch and Mono for Android are tweeners. They aren't mobile and they aren't .NET. Seriously? What kind of fun-filled statement is this? These products are used to build native applications. You don't build some Frankenstein application with them, but real applications. Have you used an application built with Mono Touch or Mono for Android? Have you found anything wrong with them? Why would Apple promote these apps if they were not best of breed? You're going to be limited to waiting on the API support from Apple for months. It will take forever for these guys to support new iOS features. Mono Touch is typically updated within 48 to 72 hours of a user getting a new version of iOS. Answers to questions come fairly quickly on the mailing list. Miguel Diacasa, Jeff Norton, John Pryor, and John Pops are very quick on answering questions. But you can build really optimized applications with this stuff. Seriously, are you trying to fight about my optimized VB application running circles around your C++ applications again? Haven't we been down this path before? Application performance is determined much more by the developer than the technology. None of this stuff is documented anywhere. It's going to be too hard to figure out. You'll have to spend lots of time figuring out some setting. Because the APIs in Mono Touch and Mono for Android are based on the native APIs, there's plenty of documentation for these products. Have you seen Wally McClure's books on Mono Touch and Mono for Android? He and his co-authors have written books and articles on this. He's not the sharpest guy, so if he has figured it out, it must be stupid easy. Wow, okay you have convinced me. Mono Touch and Mono for Android really aren't like Flash and WinForms. I like it. I can take all my C-sharp knowledge and apply it to the iPhone and Android. This is really cool, where can I find out more? Yeah, it works pretty well. I bought Wally's books after I talked to him at Android DevCon and Mobile Connections. He's really energized by all of this stuff. You ought to talk to him about the first piece of code that he ran on the iPhone. It was way more complicated than Hello World and it worked first time. He wrote it in Visual Studio and then copied the important parts of the code over to the Mac and it ran first time. He talks about it and how shocked he was that the dog talked, let alone use good English. To find out more about these products, check out the Mono Touch and Mono for Android websites. For more on Wally's company for info about their training and contracting services, Check them out at scalabledevelopment.com. You can reach Wally on Twitter at WBM and his email address is wallym at scalabledevelopment.com.